All right, guys. Hey, it's Alex here, and it's Sunday morning. I'm out right outside the Cleveland National Park. We got some rain the last few days, so there's something here that you normally don't see in California. Yes, we have water in our creeks right now. Uh, it's a little muddy out right now. Uh, it's a little cold, but I came out here to go finding a shot. But before I go diving into trying to find the shot, I wanted to talk to you about my must, must have recommendations for this month here. And that is, you might notice, I'm wearing a photographer's vest. Yes, I know. The same guy that said I would never, ever, ever wear a photographer's vest. I'm actually wearing one. And the reason why I said that in the past was it wasn't so much that I was talking from experience. Um, I, the fact is, I've never worn a photographer's vest before. Uh, but I just didn't visualize seeing myself wear one. And I didn't really, I didn't open myself up to understand some of the benefits that were, uh, that were associated with a photographer's vest and when they were right in front of me. You see, I'm, I shoot landscape. I'm always near the beach. I'm always out trying to find water, this or that. And I'm using this location as a good example. It's muddy. Okay, normally I'd be putting my camera bag or trying to find a, a spot where I can put my camera bag down and minimize the amount of dirt, mud, and whatever debris that it's gonna pick up by me setting it down. Um, I don't need to do that. All my camera gear, which is usually my 45 liter camera bag is actually on my is on me right now. I have a 70 to 200 over here. I have a 2470 over here. Uh, I have the Sony A6300, which I always carry with me that I'm shooting this video with was over here a moment ago. I have some filters over here. I have some accessories over here. I have some more filters up here. I have some more stuff over here. And that's not even getting into the, the back pocket that is on this thing. And so, this vest is what's called the m m Travel Photo Vest. It's made by a company called The Vest Guy. These guys have, uh, up in Colorado, they've been making vests for a number of years, for military, for, uh, for SWAT, police, photographers, and they do it very well. Uh, this thing, guys, this thing is really built like a tank. Um, I spent a number of years in this, in this service, and so I have a, a fondness for military-grade build quality. And guys, these guys really do it. A lot of this vest really reminds me of a lot of the stuff, the military stuff that we had to wear back in the day. And so you're talking about extremely well-stitched together. You're talking about extremely durable hardware that they've used on this. And the fabrics that they've used on here is absolutely amazing. Uh, and so... To talk a little bit about the construction of this, you have this heavy duty. This is a YKK zipper. You have two lower cargo pockets. These things are 10 inches by three and a half by seven inches. Yeah, these things are a beast. No wonder why it could fit so much in them. Uh, you have inner and outer zipper pockets on the cargo pockets. Uh, both of these pockets that you see up here, these are six by six uh, Velcro pockets. And so, and then on top of that, you also have interior elastic loop, you have D-ring, you have a key clip in the utility pocket, uh, you have a, a camera strap, but the camera strap, I don't have it on, that would normally attach right here and right here. Um, you have a handle that's in the back that is just super, super convenient for when you're not wearing this. And here's one of the cool little, little things that they put in there. There's a hydration sleeve in the back of this thing. How cool is that? These guys really thought of everything. Now this thing's made in the US. Uh, they do offer a lifetime warranty, but it's funny thing as I'm saying that, this thing's built so tough, I doubt they have hardly many of these things going back because I can't imagine what could possibly go wrong with this thing. So talking about the sizing a little bit, like when, they, when I had picked this thing up, uh, the, I was thinking about getting an extra large. Uh, and the folks over at the, the vest guy told me, no, nope, you know, they wear, there's a tremendous amount of flexibility or adjustability in these vests. So guys, I'm 220 pounds. I have a t-shirt on, I have a sweatshirt on, uh, and this is a size large, and this is pulled in quite a bit. So as you can see, whether I'm wearing a t-shirt or the sweatshirt, or I have a much heavier winter coat, um, this thing has a tremendous amount of flexibility in the, the adjustments to allow you to to, to just adjust it and wear it as you need. So, and the cool part about this is like in a situation like this, man, I don't have to put my gear down. I'm like so thrilled with that. I don't know how many hours I've spent cleaning all the muck and, and dirt and grime and all that other fun stuff. Well, not really fun stuff off my camera gear because I'm having to set it down. So if you don't have a vest, I'm definitely going to encourage you 
go try one on because once you try it on honestly i can't see myself going out without wearing one of these now contact the vest guy they have a number of different uh photographers vests uh again this one right here is called the m m just like the candy m m uh and so any rate uh hey best guy you guys did a kick rear end job awesome love this thing